Andrew, I'm going to put you on the hot seat. She's a tough. She's okay. tough. She was tough on you. Andrew, you know what? <laughs> Andrew, you and I had an agreement up front. You know, it's okay to fire me. And now you say you want to think about it. You're not allowed to think about it, Andrew. Well, what do you mean I'm not allowed to think about it? Because I, you know what? When people say to me they want to think about it, they're, they're really being polite because they know how sensitive I am. And they just want to, they just really mean to say no. Isn't that the truth? Well, I mean, I don't know if it's that Claude. You know, I mean, I had my house for sale with this realtor and, you know, here you are, you're, you're presenting me with this other option. I've never done, done anything like it. So, you know, I mean, it's yeah, just, uh, you're right. It's brand new. It's a little scary. And if I was in your shoes, I'd probably feel the same way. But the problem still exists. Didn't you tell me that you're being having a job transfer? You don't want to manage a property from a thousand miles away. You don't want to have double payments and all those other things and that. And you're moving in what, three, four weeks? Yeah, next month. Okay. You know, I had a friend in the same situation, a lot of stress, a lot of overhead, a lot of money going out, no savings, going into debt and everything. Is that really what you want? Imagine if you could solve that problem today with a rent own, and I guarantee payments were made on time and the property was well taken care of. You mean we couldn't do business? It's okay to say no. I think we could do some business. Well, thank you. Boom. Yeah, see. You can fix it off the roll. That was a good role play. Thank you, Andrew. Um, sure. The thing, the thing is, you got to fight for it. You got to be willing to, you know, stand your ground, be an authority figure. And sometimes it's okay to step on their toes a little bit. Because what do they really mean when they, I'll think about it? I'll get back to you. What are they really saying? Uh, no. N O. They're saying no. And then what do we do? What does the amateur do? We it's okay to them. say no to me. They, we chase them. We follow them. We stay up late at night doing contracts and everything. And it's all a waste of time. Don't we hate wasting time, Audrey? I see you smiling. You know what? You know, Claude, I see people now that, I'm, that are part of the uh, place that I broker out of. And they are on offering free consultation, free advice. And I just look at that and think, well, never mind what I think. You know what I think. <laughs> I think I used to be that all day long. I don't there's, have... a guy, there's a guy out there who is just like you. I think his name is, you know, he's not a uh, Grant, Grant Cardona. He's Dan Locke or Dan Loke, L-O-K. Oh. Oh. Dan Pino. Have you watched this guy? He's Claude. He's you to a T. You're a little better there, but he's all, you know, he's, he says up front, I don't, the one thing you're not going to say to me is I'll think about it. Because we both know what that means. Yeah, he has a lot of good videos out there, and I'm not going to say anything. Cause, um, but uh, use your imagination. Where do you think he learned all that from? You. <laughs> I'm, not saying, I'm not answering that question. Let me tell you why. Because he, his videos are your videos. Sell me this pen. Yeah. Yeah. Pen, pen, yeah. Things like that. I'm but, not the only person in the world who has a sell, sell me this pen video up there. But... Um, yeah, but you know, but but the free advice thing. I mean, you can't you can't command top dollar, and then come off free all day long. You can't have it both ways. You can't. Uh, but uh, I do free consultations, and that always brings me in new people. But then we have the skill set. Some of the things we're doing here. I mean, if you get somebody who wants to do a real estate deal, but they have no money and they don't have a property or anything, you're just doing free consulting. What do you, what do you, you know, there's a reason for this little thing on my desk. What are we supposed to do? 